Welcome back to AI War 2, continuing on with Zany Zenith. And I did do what I mentioned at the end of the last episode, cleared out nearby planets, took a few minutes to do that. We've got this Vicari moving in here, and they're also moving across here. And I was curious how this exactly would work, because building their termini just fine in these systems, but will they build epistyles on the opposite side of this gap, say here in Smooth and Rough? And it turns out that they will. This constructor is doing exactly that which will allow us to, you know, we don't have to have completely contiguous territory as long as we have a bridge of termini systems in between anywhere that we want to cross. I'd like to do the same thing in getting in here, I'd like some Sufkari in Echo X-Ray. But I am concerned about how I defend this in the meantime. You can see we do have a bunch of energy now, having gotten that power generator, and the threat is growing. So I want to switch this over and enhance our defense. Make it a military system. And basically throw just about everything we can at it. Tractors. And an additional force field. Max out our subverters. Max out our pikes. and generally make a nuisance of ourselves to anybody who attacks. Let's throw the beam turrets up in here as well. Now I could go with some ambush also, but they don't really work well in this particular scenario. It's hard for them to cover both wormholes. They probably wouldn't get many shots in. And then, of course, to really use them effectively, I need to move the command station up further, but then the data center is exposed. So I'm just going to stick without them in this particular case. Now, looking at the greater galaxy, we're really starting to narrow down some things on where the AI homeworlds are. Down here, we have the Spire Archive of the Jabberwock. And way over here, Falnga is a bastion world, also of the Jabberwock. So, I'm pretty sure there are homeworlds between those two, maybe somewhere in this area, maybe over here. The Praetor AI homeworld, we know where that is now. That's Minal. And we can see this nice big conglomeration here. At the time we scouted out, I'm sure it's higher now, they had almost 100 strength, over 700 ships in their Praetorian, which is Mark IV. So obviously that will be painful when we go to hit that later on. But they do have Dire Tesla, regular Mark VII, MLRS, and Dire Gravity for their guard posts. And it could be much worse than that. Those are not particularly problematic types as Dire Guard posts go. The Ventral AI we don't know as much about. They have a Spire Archive here. Retribution Golem there will be nice. But they don't have any Bastion Worlds that we know of. So I think they've got to be down here somewhere, maybe in this area. Not enough room at the top for them to have a homeworld around there. Or we would have seen some of their Bastions. Probably nearby then the Jabberwocks, I would guess. Now the next goal I want to work towards, it's going to take some time, is hitting the super terminal. And that's going to be a little bit of an issue because this is a Jabberwock response and I'm sure that response will be painful and we probably won't get that much out of it, but I still want to do what I can. They also have an alarm post here. Now to maximize our chances of doing well at this, I don't want to hack the Jabberwock AI anymore and we've already hacked it got more response out of it than any of the others, unfortunately. And that's mostly due to the fact that we hacked that tech fault. But I don't want to hack them anymore to get this done. And I want to keep the AI at Mark 1, not let it get up to Mark 2. I can see we have some room there, 90 earned but 60 reduction. So we can get a little bit more toys in hand and still stay below that Mark 2 level. Now, I want to do some research here oriented towards both increasing our fleet, but mostly increasing our ability with the turrets to handle that super terminal. So, the subterfuge here I think is worth getting. 11 strength, fairly cheap, and you can see the Stalker and the Warbird frigates will get boosted. I don't mind having better paralysis minefields either. Okay, and then there's a couple here that are pretty cheap for nice boosts to our turrets. The subverters there with the exotic and the core will really help our mini fortress and our sniper turrets. So I'm going to grab those two. Then I'm also going to do direct upgrades to our two battle stations and I want to also throw these on five. They're going to be moving these around a lot more I think now. 
But let's go ahead and just grab those and boost what we're able to. Excellent. So now those turrets will be quite nice indeed and about as effective as we could expect. So, next up, I want to split up my fleet a bit here and get moving to our next goal, which is I want an outguard. That's the immediate goal. And over here, this is a Mark I system, but it has one that I'm interested in getting, the Saber Company. Ragnar's Breachers is a more offensive, I want a more flexible outguard, just in case something goes bad for us. And it has an eye, which, it being a low mark system, is actually going to hurt us, because we can't put much strength in there. But I also want to split up my fleet anyway for purposes of having a defensive fleet available. Let's see, how are we doing here? On uh, We're gradually getting into the transport. There we go, and you can see this Ficari also flooding in very nicely now that we've eliminated resistance. Let's get these back here to our homeworld. And I want you to move over here. We're going to switch that fleet around as our backup. We'll just call these reserve. And then, not yet, as soon as I need to get that other fleet in here before I start. There we go, it's ready. Unload it all. Now we can switch out the ships. And I want everything that is Mark 1 or Mark 2 to get switched. And the Mark 3s will stay with our main attack fleet. And then in this case, of course, it's actually the reserve fleet that's going to need to do the work. And let's get you over here as well, where our support fleet is already waiting for us. That threat level just went down a ton. So we must have just had a delayed calculation while we we're fighting off a wave. But I still would rather be prepared than not be prepared. Okay, let's grab one of these Hydras and throw it through and see exactly what's there. Don't want to overwhelm that eye. So we have... 27 enemy strength. We need to get them down to two guard posts. They have four, but three of them are stealth. So we're going to need to knock out a stealth, which means we're going to need help in detecting the guard posts, find out where they are. And it also means I have a little bit too much strength here. So I'm going to need to get rid of something. I like the Hydras to soak up firepower. The Teslas don't have much strength value either way so I need to get rid of either the warbird or the siege frigates and I think the siege are going to be the more valuable in this case knocking out some guard posts so we're going to get rid of the warbirds and that'll bring us well below where we need to be let's make sure we don't rebuild them for now and in we go going to bring also the sentry frigates in as well so we can hopefully get a handle now they're going to look at the AI eyes in this particular journal if we need help on how to handle them. Oh, there's a stealth right on top of the wormhole. Well, that's convenient. Let's make that go away before our frigates die. Bingo. Now let's hit this unarmed guard post. And that should make this vulnerable. They have a Dire 7 Vampire Guardian. That's not good. Okay, so let's go after the Eye, and then as soon as that's down, I'm going to want my main fleet in here as well. So let's go ahead and bring you along so you are nearby. 
But now the eye is in fact vulnerable. And our siege frigates are getting hit, but they are getting some shots off occasionally. There we go. All right, let's bring in our fleet. Let's bring everybody in. Hmm. Well, that doesn't look good, does it? Got two minutes. And they're going to hit smooth and rough. Hmm. You know what? We're not going that way then. We're going to pull everybody out. And we're going to go over here and defend first. <laughs> Because that's where our Zenith power generator is. I can't afford to let that go. Fortunately, we didn't take enough losses in here to trigger any sort of counterattack. Meanwhile, you can see the Zenith Architrave. They're about to expand here. You can see it references pioneers. They basically they build pioneers, and the pioneers will either establish new territory for the Zenith Architrave, or they'll get destroyed one or the other will happen. Let's move you in here. My pleasure. Now hopefully they will not, they'll be, you know, sort of not interested in going here where we are and they will head off in other directions and expand. We'll be able to hold our position right next to the portal. And here comes the attack. Yes, we know our combat fleet is crippled, or our support combat factory is crippled. We don't really care at the moment. Whoa. So yeah, they're they're hitting us painfully here as it is. What do they have with all that? Yeah, they have um, the Spire Destroyers. Well, isn't that nice? We barely survived that. Okay. Well, I tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. That was not a lot of fun. And I don't feel like see seeing that kind of a wave again. I really, really don't. So what I'm going to do is not see that kind of a wave again. This is going down. There we go. All right, let's get back in position now and continue what we were up to before. Wrong area. Here we go. Most of you know I do not do a lot of gate raiding, but there are times when I think it's appropriate. All right, let's get in here. And now we're gonna move in. Right away, sir. And clear this system out. Get our support factory back online. Let's, let's knock out the vampire before it causes any more trouble. There we go. Clean up the mess. Everybody must either leave or be destroyed. Now that the eye is gone, that should not be a concern. And I think that's it. Let's see how we do on this hack. 
They want us to upgrade our flagships because they're being crippled. But they just got crippled because I left them in the wrong system and it really didn't hurt us much. Make contact without guards. Saber Company a little bit cheaper. And they're the one I want because, again, Ragnar Breachers only available on AI systems. And this will take a bit of time. Let's see how much they spawn at us. Some minefields being laid down by our frigates. See how this battle's going. Well, they've blasted their way through our defenses to a degree. But it appears we're doing fine at fighting them off. And we're done here. Yeah, 20 some strength. Should not be a problem. getting hit here as well lovely and from an unpleasant direction I might add this is coming from the nomad side so let's just use that out guard and make sure that we handle this of course the military is gonna fire at them they're gonna come over here as well yeah that was probably completely unnecessary at the rate we're zombifying them but better safe than sorry okay next up now I want to plow a path to Echo X-Ray. So we're going to want to load up everybody. And our defense fleet is actually going to go back and do its defense thing. Now the shortest path to plow, I think, is starting in Westos and coming down here. This is going to be tricky, though, because they've been building up in this system, and I want to halt that buildup. Then I'll want to clear this out as well. You know, just the neighboring systems around this. Don't care too much about the Nomad because it's not going to be here that long. So we are now all set up in Westos to come into this next system. And I need to be a little bit careful about that. I'm just going to move my transport over here. Reason being, oh, I'm going to want you to come with. You come in. And you come in. Now, what we've got here, we've got a bunch of these Spire Frigates and a Destroyer there as well. So I want them to be spreading their fire among various things and not just smashing into my transport. Under attack on enemy world. There we go. Now we come in, get some good shots at them. These are not that durable, the AI versions of these, but you see much weaker than the original lacking three will, but they definitely are still painful if they all focus on one big target. So now we're looking pretty good. I want to move my battle stations over this way because this is where we're going to end up going. Let's just clean out the system. Okay, you're going against the Zenith Architrave. We don't care. They see they've still we've still taken enough loss to begin the that counter there, but they will not get very far with it because we'll be able to clear this out eventually. We've got husks over here and deviants some more nano cost nonsense clearing out all the tachyons on this side and this was the easy planet to deal with they're spawning extra galactic units against the zenith architrave so this gives you an idea that uh, that is not a peaceful little friendly household pet 
Yep, they're trying to expand. Okay. Let's get everybody over here. We're going to want to be more cautious now. We will continue this fight heading into Grell. I don't want to butcher the other name, but that's going to have to wait a bit. That will be a long fight that we will look forward to in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Zany Zenith, continuing soon.